The purpose of this podcast is to teach children new vocabulary during an interactive story. The Lonely Crocodile by Patricia Loomis, Abby Lawton, and Jennifer Stewart. Once upon a time, there was a very lonely crocodile named Crunch. I'm so bored. I wish I had a friend to play with. Crunch wanted a friend to play with, but since she was nocturnal, everyone was sleeping when she wanted to play. It's no fun to be awake while everyone is asleep. Brett the brown pelican was snoring up in a nearby tree. She wished he would come out to play. Crunch was a sad crocodile. She wandered through the night looking for something to do. She was crawling through the marshes. But then, Crunch picked up on a vibration in the air and heard something approaching. I feel something nearby. I wonder who it is and what they were doing at this hour. She knew something or someone was coming. She started hissing and puffed her neck out, ready to fight. Crunch was worried about her baby eggs nearby hiding in the sand. She was prepared to attack the prey if need be. She submerged herself in the water and used her webbed feet to swim as fast as she could towards the noises. Crunch was in luck when she spotted a reptile friend, Allie the alligator. She was relieved it wasn't a predator. Crunch was happy to have protected her babies and to find a friend to play with. Crunch noticed that Allie looked quite similar to her, but there was something about her that was a little bit peculiar. Allie had a wide, rounded snout, while Crunch had a long, narrow snout. You know what? We look alike, Crunch said to Allie. Allie responded, Yeah, that's because we are both reptiles. Isn't that cool? Allie was right. Crocodiles and alligators are both reptiles. Crunch said, I was so worried when I heard the noises coming towards my eggs in the sand nest. I know what you mean, Allie responded. I'm very protected of my baby's eggs too, but I make my nests out of leaves and grass. Together, Allie the alligator and Crunch the crocodile spent the night catching up and swimming. They used their powerful swishing tails to navigate through the water. They stayed awake the entire night and even had a midnight snack. Allie told Crunch, It was great to see you, but I have to go keep an eye on my hatchlings and get a daytime's rest. Crunch and Allie said their goodbyes and parted ways. As the sun rose, Crunch went to bed full and satisfied. The, the end. end.